This is some really cool stuff here. Our next guest, she paints with ripped and cut bits of paper from magazines. So the finished product, well, just amazing works of art. Please welcome artist Deborah Shapiro here to the station. It's so good to have you here. Oh, thank you. And I must say, we're going to show you some of these. You're going to be blown away. How did you get into doing this? Um, actually, this was not on my radar about five years ago. I've always been like a video corporate producer. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had a double jaw surgery. And I was laid up for about three months on a liquid diet, laying in bed, and I couldn't really do video. But my mom gave me a ton of magazines to look at while I was laying in bed. And I just kind of looked at colors and I thought I could do something with this. So I ripped up a couple and started making a picture out of it. And then I just became addicted to it. I've just been doing it ever since. The, I mean, look at that one we're showing you right now. That is incredible. Now, how many pieces of paper oh do you think you rip <laughs> up for something like that? Or how long would that take you to make? Um, it's really hard to tell how long it would take, probably a week or so. It, it takes a long time just even to find the pieces because I have to go through a ton of magazines just trying to find enough. There's no paint on any of these. It's all just little pieces of magazines that I rip up. Some of them I do have to cut like around the, the neck and so forth. I'll use an X-Acto blade to get that. Okay, so clearly you are an artist though. I mean, we couldn't just pick up this. Uh, we could maybe try to pick up this as a hobby, but I don't right. think they would look as good as yours do. <laughs> I know you brought a, a demo here to show us. Right. Um, so you've just, you pick the colors you want, the color well, scheme that you want. What you need to do to do this, you need a bunch of magazines, and I look for good quality magazines, something that has a heavier paper to them. You need an adhesive, so you can use Mod Podge, glue, acrylic, anything like that. Um, and then you need something to do it on. You could do this on canvas board. I use stretch canvases. Um, and what you want to do is first sketch out what you're doing. And a lot of times I'll put something like dark so I know where the dark and lights and I'll even write myself little notes on there. We're watching a video of you doing this right now, which oh. is incredible. This is a time lapse, clearly. I wonder right. how long that really took you to do. But right. to be able to see this in motion, <laughs> right. that is just amazing. And that's what this would turn into over there. Wow. Okay, so you have this blank canvas, so right. you drew on it first. And right, and I have where I have the darks and the lights, because you're going to eventually cover this up, so you won't be able to know what you're doing. So you go through magazines, you sort it by color, mm -hmm. and right now I always start from the background and I work to the foreground. So basically all I'm doing is just put a little bit of glue. You don't want to put too much, because otherwise it'll bubble up. And you just paste it on there. And you kind of pay attention to your colors as you go along, because you want to kind of blend it all together. And your eye is going to kind of trick you because after a while you're not going to, from distance, you're not going to be able to tell it's all magazines. You think it's kind of like a painting. Mm -hmm. um, but your brain will kind of fit things together until you get close up and then you can see, like that doesn't work because it has a little bit of dark on there. Um, I like this. You both right. seem to have a lot of meaning too behind what you do. Oh, some of them I do. Um, I have one, let's see, with the, the legs that we have over here. I did that during our last election. So a little bird represents Bernie. There's all kind of stuff about Trump and Clinton in the background. Um, I have one of a cat where you can see like uh, words about, um, about feral cats in the background. I'll find articles about that. Wow. Like the apples, I have like a apple pie recipes um, in there. <gasps> oh, that's so if you look cool. Up close. So there's all kind of little things if you look for in all of them. Some of them I don't have something in, but a lot of them do have some kind of little meaning. So literally, that's all you all you use. That, look at those. That's all you use then is this little bit of glue, and you have to maybe cut a few pieces on the edges to make them right, rounded right. Or, or shapes that you need. But that's it? Right, and 90% of it is all just ripped up pieces of paper. But I do try to put meaning into it. Um, so you'll find little words and little things to look at once you get close up to that it to see it. That is just incredible. I can't imagine how long it takes you to put one of these together. Quite some time, I would think. Yeah, it does take a while. Oh, sure. wow. So but the, the great one. part about this is if you love these, you can get your hands on one of them. So they can go to your website, and right. it is DebraShapiroArt.com? Yes, and I have an ebook too, on how to do this particular one. So you could learn all the steps and everything that you need to do that. You should start teaching classes like this. You know they do the painting classes right. with the, tw with, would they have drinks oh, on drinks, the side? Oh, drinks, right. Why right. not do one of these? <laughs> It might not look so good after a few. <laughs> There's a little bit more, a uh, little bit more <laughs> advanced, but could be a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for being here and for sure. sharing great works of art with us. Oh, thanks, Nelly. All right.